Um, I'm still struggling to see who is on and who's off, but uh, um, I'm just waiting for um, for Mike because Mike is also supposed to make a presentation. Yes, I'm, I'm available on the phone. Okay. Who, who is that? This is Mike. Okay, Mike. Hi. Uh, Mike, you are also doing a presentation tonight, but uh, I see you are offline. Yeah, I think to do with my internet connection, it seems like it's not stable. Yes. Okay, so you will then not be able to do a presentation, am I right? <clears throat> yeah, I can I can do the presentation if you can if you can do my my, my upload it. Okay, I do not have I do not have you uploaded uh, um, uh, uploaded presentation. Um, they did not they did not tell me it's uploaded, so I, I did not look for it. Um, and you are not on the internet, so I would I do not mind giving it, but I don't have it. Okay. So um, so let me let me just see um, if I can get Belinda to help us. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Doctor Kelly. <laughs> Um, I will, uh, Close in front of you. I'll, yeah, probably just to introduce my company that I'm going to present about. The company is called Practica Africa, and um, the absolute um, 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 aim here is that Practica Africa must earn a minimum rate of return to cover the cost of generating funds to finance investment. Otherwise, no one will be willing to buy the firm's bond, preferred stock, and common stock. Oops, stuck again. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let me just... Um... Maybe you can control it from your side. Yeah. Uh, I, I do not have your presentation. If you email it to me, I can open it here. You want, okay. You want um, 
the thing is now um I can't get your screen off my screen. No, is it? So I can. Okay. So I can. Right. Let's go again. I'm gonna. Right. Let's see. Yeah. In the meantime, okay. you can email it to me. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Like I was saying, um, for Practical Africa to continue to be in business, it requires capital injection from various means to sustain and make it uh, profitable. And um, yeah, now I can move it. Right. And the in, um, yeah, and for the investors to project their possible returns on investment, they look at cost of capital. And the cost of capital uh, uh, comprises those various four pillars, as we can see there, where the riskiness of earnings, and that's where they look if their earnings increase, if the earning of the company increase value or decrease instantly, or can it be projected? And they look at the debt to equity mix of the firm as well how much the company is, um, uh, is indebted and how if the company is having a lot of loans, for example, loans with the banks, and financial soundness of the firm. And just to make sure that um, is the company worth investing into or is it a company that is almost heading into bankruptcy? or interest rate levels in the global marketplace, how is the company affected by the currency fluctuation? Will they put their money one dollar in today and tomorrow it will be one million future? And the problem statement is um, reads as follows. The, for better sustainability of practical Africa, there is need for it to be independent from the third party funding. And the objectives are as follows. I'm just going to run through uh, because uh, these are the normal things that we go through. Um, maybe not even to go individually, just to save time. Those are the objectives. And um, and and the data collection design is the normal thing that we use in all our assignments. So I think it's not worth going through it. Okay. Okay, Catherine, you can move it on. Are you stuck again? Is your PowerPoint stuck again, Evelyn? Okay, there we go. Up to now, it's hosting 70 students. And um, in order to get the cost required capital, we used the the the, the tool that is given by the reading, which I abbreviate saying the work, the weighted average cost of the work shows that the cost of capital for practical Africa as a whole and it can be interpreted as the required return and the overall firm. And it, um, there's a, a formula given in the, in the mandatory reading how to calculate the work. And for it for you to calculate it's equal the it's equal the cost of debt plus the cost of stock plus the cost of preferred stock. And there are various ways also to calculate the cost of debt for you to get to the work and the cost of stock and the cost of preferred stock. So for me to be able to calculate the work, I went on to calculate this uh, needed 
um, 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 items. And the cost of stock is calculated, um, as you can see here, the cost of debt is simply the interest rate that the firm must pay on a new borrowing. So we use the after-tax cost of debt, um, the cost of debt for Practic Africa, which is um, we pay 10% on the loans that we borrowed. And the tax rate uh, deductible is a third of what we repay. Uh, we, we get tax deductible on, a third, on, the, on, on the portion that we repay. It's on a third. I'm not sure whether I'm saying it quite correctly. And this is the, um, the given that calculation and those uh, va val values, this is um, uh, our, our cost of debt. Then we went on to calculate the cost of preferred stock because we need all these values to be able to calculate that. And um, preferred stock has a fixed dividend similar to debt, has no maturity date, and dividends are not tax deductible like in the other um, slide and are expected to be perpetual or infinite. Cost of preferred stock is calculated as follow and you can see the value here it's 2.75%. And, and then the last calculation that we did is cost of equity or common stock and retained earnings. And as you can see, our value, the cost of equity as given here, is 5.6. I think um, I'm not very sure whether it's a, a good a good value, but I think it's a good. It's not quite clear in the mandatory readings. So um, the work for Practical Africa, as you can see, Practical Africa's capital structure is um, is a mix of debt and equity used to finance the business. You, you can see here the, 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 in this, in this uh, the debt, the stocks, and the preferred stock, as you can see the, 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 quite, the quadrant here. And the, to, for us now, now that we have um, uh, calculated the other value, we were then able to calculate the weighted average cost. And it's um, bringing us to 6%, as you can see here. Where we had, um, um, where, uh, as, as, as per calculation, looking at all the other values that we get from the previous cost of debt and the cost of preferred stock and all others. Um, so we went, having uh, seen that, we went then to look at uh, options or ways how to raise this capital. And we came to a conclusion that um, since um, Practical Africa accommodation is like two, two separate units that is in a big yard, we thought part of the dorm will be converted to, um, to office, office space because our intention is to deal from a third party and uh, uh, funding for example banks and we looked at the and we looked at the other options that are given in the in the mandatory reading for example the venture capital the public shares but we, we do not find them suitable model so we thought we could use what we have already for us to be able to generate more income uh, and we thought of uh, changing part of the domes and we convert them to office spaces and collaborate with international universities because our accommodation is like two minutes walk from one of the local university and you can tell already from the name of our accommodation we call them students our 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 tenants are just students and there's a lot of requests that university can use some of our facilities and nearby the, the cannot be offered by the university. And this is our desired 
capital structure. If you remember the previous one, the, the current one, we want to move more away to reduce the depth and to have more stock. As, as you can see, it has taken part, half, of, half of, our, uh, of our structure now. So this is our desired uh, structure that we would like to see in the future, having uh, given the opportunity to implement uh, those changes. Um, and this is the recommendation on um, how to finance Practical Africa as a best in the long term. Part of the domes will be converted to office spaces. This will enable us to create more revenues um, and to collaborate with international universities. Uh, and it will also allow us to have revenue at a low cost and um, we would have a lot of international students um, uh, through these collaborations. And um, these are just the action sheets that the recommendation is going to be done by whom and by when. As you can see, we would like to do this by um, 25th of, um, by, by December 2015, and the collaboration should be effective as from August. We are already uh, starting the talk with uh, some universities already. Um, in conclusion, I just want to say that this study created an opportunity to how to better analyze companies and establish which have a viable return on invest and which ones are not worth investing in. And for the company itself, I would really say that um, the value added as it has established means to finance itself for the company in the long run, independent from a third party funding. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Evelyn. Uh, I just have one question before we go on. Uh, Practica Africa, what is it? Is it a property company or is it an investment company? It's an investment company which has three legs. One is a, a training and consultancy, one is a medical supplies, and one division is accommodation, okay. specializing in giving student. And basically for this study, I just took the accommodation department. Yes. Okay. okay. I understand that. So, and, 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 and this funding is aimed at, at making the accommodation more, more profitable. Making it more profitable, but not going to the bank or getting more money, but utilizing the whole um, structure that it has and change it in, like one unit to be an um, office spaces to be used by universities, and this will be at a low cost and um, have more high earnings. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you very much for your input so far. Uh, is there anybody who wants to make any comment about this presentation? Um, I was going to make a question as well to uh, for the nature of the business. Please. Please, I think that is the nature of the business. <coughs> I think she has clarified that one. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry, Kath. Um, oh, yes, go ahead. Oh, I said I was, I was going to ask about the nature of the business, okay. but she has clarified that. Okay. I don't know if she can go back to the slide on the calculation for the working capital. For the uh, work. Why is it average? Okay. Uh, can can you, you can go back to the slide. Okay. Yes, I'm stuck again. Ah, okay. okay. I'm going to comment uh, that you but said. Is okay, no, that's fine. You you gave uh, the three uh, subsections that you calculated to add up to your work of six percent. I was going to comment that, that, you know, compared to what we have in Zimbabwe, that's, that's nothing. Uh, the cost of capital, you guys are fortunate. <laughs> um, but I also wanted okay. to say for, for the terms of, in terms of presentation, you may actually need to give all those details as to how we arrive at, at that work. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, that's a good uh, it was 
it was very populated that um, um, the feedback uh, for the for the for the assignment I definitely have to enjoy it more on that. But if you see the scrap paper, it's quite good in how to calculate and now it's battling to see what can I bring in the presentation and what can I yeah, okay, because I was going to say, because of that, then it ends up being, um, it, it appears there's a lot, then it's, the slide is then not very clear. Mm. Thank you for your input. I will definitely try to try and make it more clearer. Thank you very much, Kat. I have a question. Yes, please. I've got a question, Evelyn. Um, if you go back to your to your uh, your structure, your capital structure. Yes. Yeah. Yellow thing. Um, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I just wanted to find out. Uh, do you have uh, equity in your firm? Yes, we do have equity. That's why you could see when we calculated um um when I. Uh, especially where the calculation of, uh, of the um, um, sorry, I'm not able to do the the okay, right. can I explain. Uh, can you help me? Yes, I'm listening. You can just explain. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. If you can, if you can look um, where we 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 have the cost of preferred stock. Mm. Basically, here yeah, you need your 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 you need to to to, to calculate the cost of of the, uh, uh, here we have we have the um, if you can see the two thousand uh, two hundred divided by eighty thousand only that I can't bring the 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 slide back on the dividend repeat dividend of two thousand two hundred. Okay, that that part I understand. And the price of share. The price of share is because we we looked at we calculated the price of share where we look at our liability and our asset and we 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 find out the equity. That's why we could come to the calculation of the price of our share. Evelyn, okay, so you? the follow up question there, Evelyn. Mm -hmm. Now how a follow-up question. Yes. Now, how did you go about choosing your debt um, equity ratio? How did I go about? Uh, um, how did you go about um, choosing your debt equity ratio? I used the share. I used oh, okay. it. I used the share uh, as, as it's explained in the mandatory reading. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I think the question is the debt equity ratio because uh, uh, that's a valid point. The question is, um, you know, what is the optimal rate between debt and equity? Um, because uh, what you have Propose it is quite a low, um, quite a low debt ratio towards equi equity. Uh, maybe uh, if I if I can guess. By the way, I, I've tried to restart your your uh, PowerPoint. Can you move it now or not, uh, Evelyn? Can you try to move it? Yeah, um, because there's there's uh, if. It's only that if you, if if I could if I could if I could move the, the slide which weighted average cost, it says that um, we maintain a mix of forty percent debt. Okay, what I've done is I've 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 just taken your screen off. Can you just try and move your PowerPoint now and then I'll put you back on again? Mm, right. I think Prof just need Prof needs to to, to to give me, yeah, let me see. Yeah, it's moving now. Okay, now let me then make sure. Um, I'm going to put you back. Uh, yeah. Okay. On that slide. Okay, um, you're back on now.
Okay, just, just, just show us your screen again. Just click on the screen button. Um, I think I think the point that Moses is making there is a valid point. In that, oh, there we go. Hello. Great. Okay, there we go, Evelyn. Yes. So I just used the uh, the company's figure against the formula in the book, basically. Mm. Okay. As you can see, as you can see. The, the property was bought at a very, very um, low price where we had six students and then we are loan from the bank and then we jumped to 70 students. You could just see the jump. Mm -hmm. And um, over time, if you look at the period from 2009 to 2015, over time the, the equity uh, um, is, has, has gone quite far. Yes, appreciate it. Okay. Yes. Okay. So there's an off balance sheet um, advantage. Uh, Moses, uh, do you have any more questions to Evelyn at the moment, or are you happy? No, no, I, it's fine. I, I don't have any more questions. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Is, is there anybody else who has uh, some comments on Evelyn's presentation? Anybody else? No, I don't have. I don't have any more questions. I have a question. Okay. Who is that, Mike? Who? Who, who is yes. that? I Mike. Okay, Mike. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, is, is this presentation based on future plans or should we review what happened in the past? Is this a long term financial planning or is she actually looking at what happened in the future plan up now? Um, like what it is now on the screen is the present. The weighted average cost. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not able to, to see the screen. Okay, and then, and then, um, one of the slides now. Uh, I'm trying. If you could see, there was a slide option of how to raise this capital. It's also part of one of the slides that is coming, and that's why we want now. Our plan is to turn. The, some of the dorms into office spaces and some training rooms as per request and collaborate heavily with international universities because we can capitalize on that one. We are just a minute away from the Polytechnic of Namibia and it's, it's quite some overwhelming um, uh, request. So that's why we thought we instead of us, um, and the, the, that's basically the future plan. Only that I'm I'm stuck again. I can't bring the slide on. Uh, yeah, the only thing I can do is I can uh, move the screens around. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me just do that. Okay, so if you can try to. Um, Try to move your PowerPoint, then I'll switch you back on again, Evelyn. Uh, let me see. Okay. Yeah, now I just have your nice. Um, <laughs> now I have your nice screen with a book. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but uh, can you move your PowerPoint, <laughs> then I'll put you back on. Let me do I think uh, this uh, invites me again. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so there we go. Let me just. Uh, yeah. yeah. 
just like to um, ah, sorry it's um, on this the future um, options option of how to raise um, this capital that's basically the future plan so you are going to uh, convert uh, dorms into office space and rent that out to that so that will generate an in income am i right yes and then of course the dorms you will you will try to to rent it out at a, at a um, preferent right at a good right yes you uh, can capitalize especially on uh, international students because they 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 are they are they are cost in europe Okay. okay, but now normally when you raise the capital, this is uh, how you are going to apply your, your asset to generate an income. But to raise the capital, you will have to, to, to issue shares and you will have to... Um, uh, so so, so the, the, the raising of the capital is a different thing. When you want to raise the capital, it means you are going to issue shares and you're going to pay off the, the, the debt, sort of. Uh, yes, and that way it comes um, with the collaboration with some um, international universities. There is some institute that would like to collaborate uh, uh, with us, and that's basically where the one unit will be. And when they bring in international students and international professors, would also stay at the other unit. That's uh, basically. And the front unit will basically be kind of okay. um, uh, uh, generate some capital as this international university is coming but, in. But that is that is generating an income. It's it's different from raising the capital. Raising the capital means you are going to uh, increase your ordinary shares and preferred shares, and you're going to reduce your debt. So so you are getting it wrong at the moment. They will own. They will own. They will own the 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 the, the unit. Oh, they I see. Co -own oh, the I see. Unit with okay. Okay. I don't think that came over so very clear. Okay. I'll try to make it clear in the yeah. yeah. Okay. So the, the thing, is if you are going to then basically sell off a part of it to raise capital, that's what you're telling me. Yes. Okay. Okay. I, I, I am with you. Okay, so just don't get confused with how the asset is going to earn an income and how you are actually going to finance the asset. It is two different concepts. Okay. And raising the capital means oh. how am I actually going to get the money to, to pay for this asset. Once the asset is working, then it generates an income. So don't confuse the two concepts. Okay. 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 Is that? I've, I've, I've got a I've got a question. Yeah. Go ahead. I think for me it's it's just a bit of a clarity. Um, I I tried picking it up, but I'm trying to what I'm trying to locate is, Evelyn, what is what is I'm trying to to understand what the project name is. What are you trying to do? You you've got this accommodation business that's already existing. Are you trying to increase the number of rooms for example is that is that your your project and how much do you require how much does that project require in, in terms of funding and 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 then we can start talking about the cost structure how will you raise the the, the, the funding there I'm, I'm trying to I'm, a bit, I'm not getting that the project itself and the amount of money that it requires to, to be executed and the, and the structure there of um, capital structure there. Okay. Um, right now, um, the first phase of the project to expand, right? Okay. From uh, the um, occupancy, from capacity of six students to seventy. All right. Okay. As the compound, as yeah. That has been done. And as the compound is sitting now, because we needed 
How did we raise that money to expand? We went to the bank. Mm. Yeah. And now, the other option that is now left for us, actually, we are interested in now completely paying the debt off and earn money and maybe later sell the property off. That's the only option that that's our way to go now. And to sell, to, 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 to pay off the debts and still be doing business that we like. Uh, because remember two compounds now. In the same year, it looks like two big properties. One of the property, there has been a demand, a request, so much request for some university to, uh, to, to, to come in and own the office space because it's so ideal for them. All right. And we don't want to go back to the bank, basically. We don't want to go back to the bank again. So they will own, we are, we are selling one portion for, uh, to, to them. And that's how we raise the fund. But the interesting part for them is, is now, they would also want to occupy the other portion that we are having, that we are using, that we are raising, or that we are renting out to students, using their students and visiting professors. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it. I got it. Thanks. Thanks very much. Uh... Thanks very much. Um, uh, I do not know how to pronounce your name. <laughs> you must help me. Pankratis. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. Because I think, um, you know, sometimes in the presentation, the presenter did not uh, maybe give us everything that she had. And then it's good to ask the question, you know. It's a valid, valid question. Okay. Yeah, We've got another question. I, 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 I think I, I'm covered now. Hi, Catherine. Go ahead. It's, I, I'm saying it's clear now for me because with the other questions, now um, I've got a better idea of what uh, what is happening. Because I was finding it confusing now to say, is this raising capital or uh, generating income? But I think that has been clarified now. Yeah, thank you very much for that. Okay, if there are no further questions, I'm going to move to another presentation. Okay, Musakwa, okay. uh, um, are you are you ready to do your presentation? Um, it wasn't uh, complete. I I just gone half through. Okay. When I noted I was supposed to present on the second, um, the short term. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your project? Do you just want to tell us a little bit about your project? No, it's okay. I can do that. Okay, right. Must I put your screen on then? Yeah? Okay, here we go. You can just activate your screen and uh, let tell us. Is it okay now? Uh, we are not seeing it yet. Have, have you activated your screen? Um, yes, thank you very much. There we go. Uh, let me share the little bit that I have done. Thank you. Uh, it's not moving. Um,
Okay, we can see it moving. Is it? Yes. Um, I, my problem statement is how best can Bethel facilities and conference center be financed in the long term, uh, but targeting at reducing dependence on third party funding. My objectives uh, is usual to assess relevant cost of required cost, identifying options on how to, to sorry for the spelling, to raise this, uh, identify options on how the financial structure should look like, and develop recommendations. If I can briefly introduce, this is a, an organization which is at its infant stage. Uh, uh, it's, it's operating under the tourism industry board. That's where it falls under because it's a business that is offering accommodation services, the lodging, campings, and conferencing um, services. It also offers catering and hiring services of equipment. <coughs> it hires out its garden for or activities like weddings, uh, parties, birthday parties, graduation parties from different sectors of, of the economy. The major clientele includes religious groups who come for uh, church meetings in big numbers, they can uh, come up to about two, between 200 and 500 people. So currently we have been using um, big tents and people, uh, we put on um, mattresses inside and we have one dormitory that we accommodating 60 people, including the tent, uh, we can also accommodate a total of about 200 people when they come for camps or conferences, especially the religious groups. For the corporates, uh, they are coming for seminars, uh, uh, workshops, and, and we also do have individuals who come and we offer them accommodation um, in the lodge. So we have uh, a sort of uh, three groups of people, uh, the ones that come and do campings, uh, the religious group who come in big numbers. We can have the executive people um, from companies, maybe international visitors, or whom we accommodate in the lodge. And we can have uh, corporates coming for seminars, workshops, uh, whom we can house, we have a page de gazebo that we offer for them to do their seminars and workshops. Uh, competition is, is, is really stiff because the industry is uh, full of established hotels and lodges that have been in the market for quite some time and we are still just entering the market so there is great competition. But we feel uh, uh, Bethel uh, has the competitive advantage of its location, uh, uh, which is the peri of Harare, about 20 kilometers outside Harare, where the place is more quieter, there is a lot of nature, uh, uh, and there is more space because uh, we own the land and we have tried to penetrate the market by having um, a competitive price. Our need uh, is to, 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 to increase or to source, um, to raise capital in order to increase the accommodation capacity, uh, especially for the camping and the conferencing type, especially for the big groups, because that's where our, our, uh, a lot of uh, inquiries are that's where we are getting a lot of inquiries uh, number of people, uh, who aspired to come and be accommodated into our place, but we don't have the capacity to do so. Do so. As they come, we, we, we see that um, 
there is a great need to cater for 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 those people for for, for us to cook uh, food for them and and but we do not have enough catering equipment to cater for those great numbers but we feel that's where uh, our market is assessing uh, the capital required uh, uh, I think this is basically what I've been explaining that um, the expansion of the accommodation capacity of the camping facility and the catering equipment will also uh, give us or push up the, the total occupants uh, uh, per month uh, of the people that we are going to accommodate and this will also um, uh, give us uh, more revenue. Uh, an assessment on return on, uh, on the cost of capital is needed. Um, I have seen that we can do this by uh, a having a projected cash flows for, for Bethel. Uh, when we do the cash projections, uh, we, we can also um, <coughs> assess the financial policy session and plan on how the funds are going to be used so that we can have a good return on investment when we get the capital. Uh, uh, we can also look at uh, the net present value uh, and see whether it is worthwhile to embark on the project. Uh, if it is if, if, if the a, a net present value uh, is on the positive side, uh, then we, 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 we can venture into the project. But when it goes to the negative, it means the project might be risky. Um, we are also going to assess the return on investment by calculating the, the weighted average cost of capital and whether it is viable and uh, looking at the uh, projected cash flows, we can uh, come up with a net profit. We can determine the projected net profit after tax deductions and be to assess the viability of uh, whether this project uh, will, will make a return on investment and we we'll also uh, assess the, uh, the debt to equity ratio and be able to establish uh, the viability again. Uh, the calculations and the formulas, uh, I, I, I had reserved them uh, for the uh, actual writing of this assignment and coming up with the actual figures. I had not actually did that practically because I thought the presentation would just need an overall um, a rundown of what uh, we are expecting and what we are looking at in order to assess uh, the capital required. <coughs> On the option to, to, to raise the capital, uh, uh, Bethel, since it is still at its infants, uh, uh, a lot of banks might, might not really uh, have confidence in the in the company and 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 borrow uh, uh, some money, but however, uh, I'm looking at the debt financing as the first major option uh, of which we we want to borrow uh, about um, for a start in stages about fifty thousand, maybe to put up an extra dormitory uh, or. Uh, just buy um, extra tents where we can erect uh, since we've got enough space and we, we can we can house our 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 client who require the camping facilities in tents um, I was also looking at the second uh, way of raising the capital through uh, venture capital where we, we can have 
finances from maybe uh, individuals whom we can sell shares to, uh, they give us finance, uh, the capital, and then we, we invest it in putting up uh, extra structures uh, so that we can increase our, our, our occupancy rate. Um, but through the venture capital, we think it can be more viable if we can uh, work on stages and set up, uh, let's say, uh, by the end of this year, maybe we have uh, uh, erected one dormitory and then uh, we set goals towards that. Uh, after achieving that and, and achieving that milestone, next year maybe we go on to the acquiring of the tents and erecting them since we have space and we, we put enough mattresses or small beds. Uh, so, so the venture capital, uh, since it will be financed by individuals who will be buying uh, shares from, from Bethel, uh, we can do that in stages and after achieving the first stage, we move on to the next stage as well. Uh, we are also looking um, uh, at private um, seeking, seeking of private equity. Um, I, I think um, this is how it's gone. Uh, on proposed capital structure, uh, I have not really done much, but I'm not sure whether I put down is, is of much sense. I indicated that uh, the capital structure of Bethel, um, uh, we can we can um, make use of uh, issuing out of bo of bonds uh, to buy back some uh, services, thereby increasing the debt to equity ratio, uh, or we can issue out um, special services and use the money to pay off some some debts that we. We 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 have uh, uh, acquired uh, of of buying land of which a little bit has been left uh, to pay it off. Um, then, like I have explained, uh, to 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 maximize on a proper uh, stage by stage project monitoring, put up a proper plan, and maximize on the return on investment, and plow it back into the into the into the business, and um, uh, I was thinking of um, setting up a powerful skilled workforce to enhance uh, the the quality of service uh, uh, in order to 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 be able to to push up uh, uh, the capacity of of raising more capital through through that. Um, uh, in order to participate in the running of course, I, I thought of uh, uh, involving the, 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 the venture uh, capitalist uh, or the directors to, to participate by uh, giving their own expertise uh, into the business and, and just give small allowances but uh, uh, get the profit and and put it back to the business uh, by by acquiring more assets uh, in terms of building up more and purchasing of more 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 assets in order to increase occupants uh, uh, rate uh, and the, I think this will, this will work out well. I think this is what I had just uh, scribbled through. I, I wouldn't know whether it was in the line, but I'm not in the financial field. Uh, I think I will end up here. Okay, I thank you very, very much. I think that's quite a thorough uh, background uh, that you've given us. Are there any remarks from the from the rest of the the um, yeah. Anybody wants to make a comment? <clears throat> uh, my question was going to be on that slide on um, 
processing of capital required, but um, uh, Mary, you then explained that we had to actually put down the calculations because I thought um, it was too too academic, and um, I just thought that there was some calculations. Um, so you you covered that, but then on the proposed capital structure, uh, you're including the issue to do with skilled workforce. Um, I'm not too sure. I understand the link between that HR aspect and the proposed capital structure. Where you think you'd like to set up a powerful skilled workforce? Yeah, that one I wasn't sure of it myself as well. Um, actually, to be honest, I didn't know what to write on proposed capital structure. I had not uh, really uh, read through the mandatory reading enough to to give um, a, an exact way of doing it. Okay, it is work in progress. I think it's a, it's a job well done so far, Mary. Okay, if there are no yeah. are there other questions. I think, I think from my side, it's just, it's just a comment. From my side, it's just a comment. I, I think although there, there isn't really detail um, of actual numbers calculation put in, I think, I think maybe if she goes back and, and, put in, and, and put in the numbers and do all this analysis, uh, I think it's going to, to, be, to be a wonderful a wonderful um, um, assignment, and and if I if I compare it to Evelyn, where Evelyn just concentrated on on work, she has actually gone out and, and look look at the cash flows. Look, uh, she's going to look at the NPVs, and and, and I think it's going to give her around around uh, what do you want to call it? What do you want to call it? Um, around understanding of whether the project is actually viable from different aspects of financial financial aspects. So, so I think it's going to be wonderful. Okay, thank you very much for that contribution. I, I also wanted to say, um, you know, um, like there's been that positive side, I also wanted to just mention that uh, with the venture capital list as well, uh, maybe uh, they would need to look into that because I don't think we've got a lot of those. Maybe just 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 a handful. Uh, venture capital, is, so it might be difficult to get venture capital. Um, but with borrowing, uh, depending on how the proposal is done, you 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 might be able to get that. But our interest rates are quite high. Yeah, sure. sure. Thank you, Captain. Okay. Any other any other comments? Okay. Um, I've, got, I've got a question, but this one is directed rather to, to Prof. Yes. For the purpose of assessing the relevant cost of uh, required capital, does one really have to, to do the calculations of, of the work? Uh, yes, unfortunately, there is no other way. You have to physically calculate the cost of capital. Um, and you have to weigh it up against the profitability. The reason for that is if, if, you, if, you, if your cost of capital is too expensive, uh, then the project is not going to fly. It will, it oh, will thank you. take out your profit. But uh, having said that, I don't think the purpose of this uh, assignment is to, to do uh, intricate calculations. So, so, so the way Evelyn has done it, it's a very simple, Plastic way, and I think that is good enough. Oh, okay. I, I, I have seen quite I've seen quite complicated calculations by the Ukrainians in the past, but uh, I don't think that is really necessary. Okay. Yes, okay. Any any other remarks? So, Prof, what you what you're saying then is that is that both these presentations that what we have seen today then they are actually a very good example of, uh, of of how one can approach this this assignment. Yes, yes, I think so. 
I think I think uh, the only uh, the only thing where maybe the group got a bit unstuck is because Evelyn did not give that much background, but she did uh, the, she she made a good job of of showing how you calculate the the, the, the cost of the capital. The only thing you must do yeah. then you must calculate the cost of the capital against the the, the income or the, the expected profit because. Uh, that is that is where, the, where, where, where it could diminish your, your your profitability. You know, the purpose of the cost of capital is to, to keep it be, be, below a certain target, and and that Evelyn has shown that as well. He said there was a target. They had a certain target of cost of capital. Okay. Okay. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, we want to move on. Uh, Mike, I've got your uh, PowerPoint now with me. So, I've, hello? I've got hello? Your, yes, I've got your PowerPoint with me. So I can run it on my... Yeah. Okay, can you see it, Mike? Hello, Mike. Yeah, we we can see it now. Yes, but I want to hear if Mike can hear me, but I don't hear him. I see his, I see his uh, profile, but I don't hear him. He's on the okay. phone. Okay. Mike, uh, um, are you are you able to speak to us, Mike? Okay. Um, does it look like Mike can speak to us? <laughs> uh, and I'm not going to do his presentation for him. Hello. Yes, Mike, uh, I've got your presentation on my screen, so I can run it and then you can talk it. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, so I'm going to slide two, which is uh, the introduction. Yeah, this is the um, information I prepared for. for for the module cost of capital and, and long term financing policy 350. And let's go to the introduction. Organizational introduction. Okay, you can go ahead. Okay, yeah. The name of, of the organization is ML Telecommunication Private Limited, which commands the its business operations in, in this year 2015. And the nature of business is a retail of mobile telecommunication services. The industry here in Zimbabwe is is the high technology students <laughs> and the competition in the industry. Uh, ML telecommunications is a new player in the market dominated, dominated by two major players and there are also other various small entities in the industry. Okay. Then the company is, is planning to roll out uh, smart, smart boot in Zimbabwe, and to kickstart this process, there's going to be a, a pilot project which will run from August 2015 to March 2016 with the about 50, 50 smart boots. 
Then upon the success of the pilot project, then the, the full project will be rolled out throughout the country. And the, the target is to cover the whole country with a minimum of 5,000 smart books. And in terms of the, the relationship between the project and the Kanban, the project is the first to be launched by the Kanban as it seeks to establish itself in, in Zimbabwe. And the project is also expected to cost a, at least 50 million in United States dollars. However, the, the initial project, which is the pilot project, is going to require about 300,000 dollars. In terms of funding this this capital requirement, the project will be funded by pieces of funds of capital that is equipped and and get. Then all, on the issue of capital structure, the cost of equity for this project is expected to be in the range of twenty five percent. However, for we are very much aware that for, for established companies, the, the average cost of capital is around 20%. Then the, the cost of debt after tax will be at 11%. And the intended capital structure at the beginning is 50% debt and 40% equity. However, in the long term, the structure should be the other way around, which is 50% equity and 40% debt. Then in the medium term, in the medium to short term, no, no dividend is going to be paid in the form of cash. And, and this is meant to push the capital structure to the required level by way of retaining retaining most of the income or payments towards debt. debt. The company is going to be a private limited company operating in Zimbabwe. Then how how the capital is going to be raised? Since this is going to be a private limited company for equity capital, the company is going to target those entities that share similar values in the past year of the required financial resources. Then this is going to be done by way of making presentations to, to, to these companies with a view of inviting them to consider invite, investing in the business by way of buying equity. Then on the on the debt capital, this form of capital is going to be sourced direct from the banks or from other institutions that provide such services. And the, the assets of the project of the project will be used as collateral. Then the loan should have a, a great period in terms of capital repayment in order to allow the business to take off without much financial stress. And now I'll quickly move to recon to recommendation. Equity financing. It is important for the business to have more equity in the long term because this will reduce the financial risk to the business. And it's all it is also important to have equity shareholders that you trust and there's a good standing with in terms of values and business trade record. This will reduce a, a lot of conflict that can stifle the business in terms of growth and direction. And on direct direct loan from the from the source, it is important to cut on a lot of costs such as commission that said part may charge if the way is urgent for the purpose of negotiating loan deals from the source or from the bank. Then debt financing should 
also be kept at levels lower than equity so as to reduce the, the risk of bankruptcy. Because I I debt will cause both the cost of debt and the cost of equity to increase. And this will make it difficult for the business to raise future capital at at lower cost. Then there's also a note to say, however, efforts should always be made to minimize the to determine the optimal weighted average cost of capital in order to reduce the overall financing cost. Then in terms of action plan, the action plan is to do with the the, the financial structure or capital structure. In the first year, the equity ratio can be will be as high as 60 percent debt and then 40 percent equity. And in the second year, the company will have a policy to retain. 100% all the net earnings or more this is going to be issued out to, to the shareholders. The same will happen in the second year. The retention ratio, any retention ratio will also remain at 100%. Then on the fourth year, the debt to equity ratio should be in the range of 50% debt, 50% equity. Then by the fifth year, by the end of the fifth year, we should be able to achieve our intended capital structure, which is 40% equity, 40% uh, debt, and then 60% equity. Uh, this is my, the end of my presentation. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, Mike. Uh, uh, I think we all s stayed with you. Are there any questions for Mike from the from the from the group? Um, maybe we, we've talked it, about it in, in connection with the other two, but to just say, obviously, they need to show some calculations of the work. It just comes in the recommendation section, but there isn't much talked about it earlier. But I quite like the, the introduction. I think it's clear to get an idea of And in the capital structure, uh, the 25 percent the uh, cost of equity um, how how might we got the cost of equity um, <coughs> the, why the cost of long term debt is um, that low 11 percent <coughs> yes I think I think the comment is fair. You need to um, be able to give some details on the, uh, we are on your slide five capital structure, Mike. And um, you need to have to, um, you, need, you will need to um, give some details as to how did you arrive at these various costs. For example, you say that established companies, the average cost is at 20%. At, uh, now, how, how did you get to that? So, so remember that you must give some detail on these figures. How did you get to them and, and what is the source of your information? Okay. Yeah, in terms of um, cost of capital, I, I use the, the capital asset pricing model. And since this is a technology business, I, I looked for one of the companies that is listed on the global stock exchange and got the 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 sectors or parameters that are necessary to calculate the cost of capital. Yes. I first of all calculated for, for that company that is listed on the cost of change and I found out that their cost of capital or cost of equity it was twenty percent. And for our since it is a new company, obviously people tend to, to put a high risk on, on, on such so they require a higher thing as well. Yes. But the formula is the only 
こう、こう、うん、ちょっと、ちゃんとアンソリトライスモデル。Then, in terms of, of the cost of debt after tax, what this is debt after tax, I, I use the formula which says, well, in Zimbabwe, currently, the cost of debt is on the, on average, is about 15%. This is from, from the various publications in the Bible. Yeah. The average lending rate for the longer term is 15%.、Mm. But if you factor in the tax rate, which is 27.5%, you come to around 11%. Yes. Okay, you, you, but you have to give, yeah? Okay. Oh, okay. I thought it was a lot of detail, so I had to. I will include it in the actual, in the actual writing of, 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 the, of the assignment, but for the presentation, I'm going to take time to explain. Yes, that's fine. We accept that. Any other comments、uh, from Mike? Is there anybody else who wants to comment? Uh, yes, um, um, okay, let's give Pankratius a,、uh, a chance. My, my comment is on slide,、um, or maybe just a question where how to raise the capital, where he said that, that he's going to, I think <coughs> he is going to, they are going to use the company asset as collateral.、Uh, Uh, assets of the project will be used as collateral. I mean, from your introduction, it sounds like this is a startup, a startup company.、Um, it was just founded this year. Where, where will you get assets to, to use as collateral of such an amount? We're talking about 15, 150 million or, or even 300,000 for, for,、um, for the. For the, for the first project, for the pilot. <coughs> okay, it's like what they do on, on the IFHS. The asset that you are going to buy using the, the, the funding is the one that is going to access collateral.、Uh, okay. <coughs> <coughs> All right, thanks. Okay, it is, it's not going to be so easy. I think that's what he says. It is not easy to raise、uh, capital、yeah. on a startup with, with assets unless it's, a, unless it's a fixed asset. Okay, but、uh, yeah. we're not here to debate that, but、um, I think it's a fair comment.、The、executability is tricky. Yeah, it's not easy. That is why I. In case that the cost is going to be a bit on the high side、yes. because of that factor. Yes. But this, in terms of raising, this is true. So far, we are almost there. We, we have some, some good negotiations happening. Okay. Thanks very much. Any other comments? From anybody else? Have you exhausted?、Uh, can you go? Yes. 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 The, action, action plan, the slide with the action plan. Okay, I'm going there. Okay. Can you see it?、Uh, not yet. Okay, it's on my screen, but.、Uh... Uh, yeah, okay. um, I thought that、uh, that really shows the, this is long term planning because it's actually covering five years. And I was just wondering to say, in terms of the action plan, is there more that's needed than to just show、uh, how he progresses from the 60 40 ratio? To the required 40. Is there more that's needed then?
Yeah, uh, I'm just yeah. to say that article. I can see it's been five years. Yes. I, I think the comment is fair because you need to have a kind of a 10-year view on it. But it's very difficult and I think um, to, to, to do a 10-year... Uh, maybe you must have objectives uh, throughout at least 10-year period. Okay, so that is linked to the objective. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, your action plan should be linked to your objectives. Okay. Uh, any any other questions? Okay, if there is none, I'm going to close the session. So uh, we have to we have to decide now. If there's anything else, then I'll do it, and if nothing, then we are going to call it a night. Sorry, uh, Prof, just before you close. Yes, Moses. Are you the one that is going to mark the assignment? Uh, they have not asked me yet to do it. So I, I, I can't say. I cannot say. Uh, you know, I'm unable to tell you. What are your expectations? Pardon me? What are your expectations from the students in terms of, of writing this assignment? If you can just sum it up. Okay. Okay, I think... I think uh, uh, Firstly, I think uh, the, um, the, the actual calculation of the cost of capital and how you actually get to that is quite important. So you need to, you need to motivate how you are going to um, how you are going to finance your project and how that you arrive at the cost of capital. I would also think that. Uh, in your um, analysis, you must link your cost of capital to the profitability of your project. If we, for example, look at Mike's project, and um, uh, I understand that this is a startup business, but you know, um, uh, for example, he says in his second year, 100% earnings retention, if there are any. And you know, for most of the times, for example, in a, in a startup business, you don't have profits in the first three years. So, so you need to um, to link uh, the the reality of, of of profitability and your cost of capital, um, especially also uh, bringing in the the risk. Mike has used the CAPM, which is an, a very good model to calculate uh, uh, the risk uh, the risk rates of a project, but. Um, Definitely, you must uh, bring the relation of risk into your cost of capital because it plays quite a substantial role. Uh, risk and long-term financing, especially with equity, uh, share, uh, stock financing, share capital finance. Because share capital um, is mostly linked to the risk like, of a project. Um, so, uh, yes, yeah, so I think those are the things... Um, if I was going to have a look at your your, your 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 assignments, I would look at how you realistically calculate the cost of capital. How did you bring in the, the risk right? Okay. And how did you uh, compare that with your expected profitability? Is that is that the, is that the answer you were looking for? No, that, that is crystal clear. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes, definitely. It's, it's crystal clear. Thank you so much. Okay, Moses. <laughs> and I, I wish you all good luck with your assignments. Are there any questions for me, perhaps? Any other questions? When, sh when should we submit this assignment? No, I'm not sure of that. You'll have to speak to no. Linda about that. I think it's three weeks from now. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'm not exactly sure with that.
Okay, guys. All right. Right. It was very interesting to All have right, cheers. two countries in one session, and uh, I'm sorry about the misunderstanding about the time. It was the first time Belinda had to do this, and I'm sure uh, I'm also going to run two more sessions with you guys uh, on short-term financing and business planning, uh, which will be not in the evening. I think it will be on a Saturday, but um, I look forward to that, guys. And thank you very much for, for, for joining us here tonight. It was very interesting. Thank you so much for your help. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, bro. Okay, and good night. Thank you, Prof. Good night, madam. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Prof, are you still around? Yes, I'm around. Uh, it's Mary. Um, what uh, am I to prepare for presentation or for the short term financial planning? Uh, um, I am not sure. Do you want to? Because I think that it's all it's all up to you. Okay, I will see what I can do. But if I cannot, I think. Uh, is it okay if I can be excused since yes. I've done No, no, it's fine with me. You can be excused. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Right. Good night. Good night. Thank you, Evelyn, for your input. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, Bob. Good night. Bye. Good night.